Hey guys, welcome back to Next Lesson Music. It's Joseph here, and today we're going to be going over the open major chords. But before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and also hit the bell so you can stay updated on all new videos and all new content. So let's get into the lesson. So today we're going to be learning the C chord D, E, F, G, and A. Those are the chords we're going over, and th really the reason of why to learn these chords, although many guitarists find them boring, they're like, oh no, we like power chords, we like doing solos and all that, but open chords really open up music. They're a really nice way to add that, that thickness to music. Sometimes, you know, the track is a little too thin, and it needs the open chords. It adds more flavor to it. So let's learn them. As always, there's going to be a PDF down below so you can print it out or you can see it and you can get a better idea of the fingering for each of the chords. So let's start off with C. So for this chord, you're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the A string. You're going to put your second finger on the second fret of the D string. And you're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the B string. And you're going to make sure not to hit the E string. And it sounds something like this. Next we have D, and for this chord we're going to put our first finger on the second fret of the G string, we're going to put our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and we're going to put our second finger right underneath the, the first finger, but on the E string. So that would be second fret, first string, E string. And sound, uh, make sure to not play the A or the E string, and it sounds like this. Next we have E, and for this chord we're going to put our first finger on, on the first fret of the E, on the G string, we're going to put our second finger on the second fret of the A string, and we're going to put our third finger on the second fret of the D string. For this chord, we're going to play all the strings, and it sounds like this. Next we have F, so for this chord we're going to bar the the, the first fret of the B and E string, so you're going to flatten out your finger to make sure you hit both strings. Then you're going to put your second finger on the second fret of the G string, and you're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the D string, making sure you don't hit A and E string. It sounds like this. Next we have G, the G chord. So for this, uh, for this um, fingering, you're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the A string, your second finger on the third fret of the E string, the low E string, and you're going to put your, your third finger on the third fret of the B string, and your pinky right underneath that third finger. So third fret and pinky uh, on the E string. And it sounds like this. Lastly, not, uh, last but not least, we have the A chord. And for this chord, we're going to put our second finger on the second fret of the D string, our third finger on the second fret of the G string, and the pinky on the, third on the second fret of the B string. And it sounds like this. So those are the major chords, the open um, style for each of these chords. And I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. It's Joseph here. And also, make sure down in the comments, put what your suggestions. What do you want to see next? What, what, what areas do you have, are you struggling in? And we would like to make videos to help you out in your journey to become a great musician. It's been Joseph here, and I hope you have enjoyed.